Today we're working on a 5,000 square foot floor that was badly spalled inside of a warehouse. This floor used to be a truck repair center and there's grime that has been worn into the surface, into the valleys of these spalls. So in order to clean all these areas out, we have to shot blast the floor. I've shot blasted half of the floor and not the other half so you can compare to see what the difference is. The shot blaster shoots steel pellets down on the floor at a real high rate of speed and it blows all the dirt out. It's kind of like controlled sandblasting using steel pellets. After we get done shot blasting, we're going to fill all of the joints and cracks. Then we're going to put the slurry coat down. We're going to flood the whole floor with epoxy and sand, a real wet mixture, to fill all these little um, spalls. Once we do that, we're going to grind the entire floor and we're going to do two coats of epoxy. We're going to do a thin prime coat and then a thicker top coat, which will give us a nice smooth surface when we're done. Okay, folks we're back this is day number two what we did yesterday is shot blast the entire floor we filled all of the joints with a polyurea sand mix and the cracks with a low viscosity epoxy we're just getting ready to apply the slurry coat now so uh, the next shot in a couple well a couple minutes is going to be a slurry coat over this whole floor and that's just going to be epoxy mixed with sand to fill all these little divots that you see so when we're done, this is going to be a very smooth floor, gray in color. Okay, we're back on day three and we just started our grinding process after we did the slurry. So you'll see we ground some of the floor here already, but what I wanted to show is this is the area that was not ground and you can still see some texture in the floor uh, from these divots. But once you grind it, you can see this is a very smooth floor underneath this. So the grinding just knocks down all those uneven spots. Uh, we probably pulled about so far 10,000 pounds of dust out of here. There's no airborne dust in the air, so this is actually a very clean process for what we're doing. So once we get done grind grinding today, we're going to install a prime coat of epoxy, and then tomorrow we're gonna to do the top coat, and then we're done. Okay, we're all done grinding. We prepped the floor. We're getting ready to put down our prime coat of epoxy. So now if you look at the surface of the floor, it's dust free. Anything that used to be a divot, is a dark patch like this and some of these are up to an inch thick of, of epoxy that flowed into these divots. So the floor is nice and smooth. We're going to put down our prime coat. Okay, so we're just getting ready to pour the epoxy out. It's very important that you put it down consistently. So what we're going to do is pour it out. We're going to use a squeegee to lay it down and then we're going to back roll it to make sure everything is consistent. We're shooting for 150 square foot per gallon. So we know how many square feet we're using per bay so we can track it as we go through.
Okay, we're back. This is our final day. We're just getting ready to do the top coat. As you can see, this is the prime coat behind us. Uh, this is cured 24 hours. Um, we're going to start applying now. We're going to shoot for 150 square foot per gallon on the top coat, and then we're done. Okay, we're all done. What we have done here, just to recap everything, is we shot blasted this entire floor and exposed all the divots that were in the floor. We then installed an epoxy slurry coat over the entire floor, ground it really heavy to get everything smooth, then we installed a prime coat of epoxy and then a top coat of epoxy. And this is the end result. We went from a rough, divoted floor to a nice, smooth, shiny epoxy floor. This should last 10, 20 years easy with the right care and maintenance.